It's official, America's F-22 Raptors will be the first operational fighters to fly with AI-enabled drone wingmen as a part of a much broader $11 billion upgrade that's already underway for these unparalleled stealth fighters. Now, the Raptor first entered service 20 years ago now, but it remains the most potent air superiority fighter in service for any nation two decades on, in large part thanks to its unique combination of Cold War-style thrust-pumping brute force and distinctly 21st century stealth and sensor fusion. Now, this one-two punch of power and technology makes the F-22 an unmatched opponent in beyond visual range engagements while still having the thrust vectoring power and aerobatics required to win most close-range dogfights to boot. But with production on the F-22 program cut short back in 2011, the U.S. has only 185 total F-22 Raptors, with only 143 of those considered combat capable, and the rest used for training and R&D. Now, it was this shortage of airframes, not the aircraft's capability, that prompted the United States to begin development on a replacement for the legendary Raptor, which we now know will be Boeing's F-47. But it'll be well into the 2030s before Uncle Sam has enough of these new fighters to replace the entire Raptor fleet. And that means Uncle Sam cannot afford to let its F-22s just ease their way into retirement. Oh no. Instead, every combat-ready Raptor is receiving something in the order of $75 million worth of upgrades, which are all meant to improve its stealth, targeting, electronic warfare, aerobatic performance, and now, maybe most notable of all, control over AI-enabled drone wingmen designed specifically for air-to-air -air combat. And just for context, that is the dollar and cents equivalent of building a brand new F-35A and just strapping it to the F-22's fuselage. So suffice to say, it's enough for a pretty respectable boost in capability for a platform that's already considered the gold standard in air-to-air -air combat. And because a lot of the systems and capabilities being retrofitted onto the Raptor were actually developed for its F-47 replacement, well, that means these old jets will absolutely be learning some very interesting new tricks. Now, these Raptors will fly with a tablet-style control system in the cockpit the pilot can use to provide simple directives to his or her drone wingmen, like fly out ahead to extend sensor reach, engage targets in the air or on the ground from multiple attack vectors, and a whole lot more. These drone wingmen, Andoril's FQ-44 and General Atomic's FQ-42, both of which are already in testing, will then use onboard artificial intelligence that's also being developed aboard a bevy of AI-enabled F-16s out at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida as we speak, with these drones using that AI to complete their assigned missions. Now, exactly how many drone wingmen each F-22 could control has not been disclosed. Initially, the Air Force envisioned two drone wingmen for each crewed or piloted fighter, but subsequent testing has shown that both pilots and the aircraft control systems can actually manage way more than that. Lockheed Martin has even already disclosed that in their testing, they've successfully controlled as many as eight AI-enabled drones from a single F-35. Now, we already know that the upgraded Block 4 F-35 and the F-47 are both meant to fly with drone wingmen, but these fighters are both still a few years out. And just last week, the Air Force demonstrated its ability to control two XQ-58 Valkyrie drone wingmen from both an F-16C Fighting Falcon and an F-15E Strike Eagle, both fourth-generation fighters. And while the FQ-42 and 44 are being designed, built, and tested specifically for air-to-air -air combat, there are several other drone programs maturing toward other mission sets, like Boeing's MQ-28 Ghost Bat, Northrop Grumman's Model 437 Vanguard, and a bunch of others. So, suffice to say, Uncle Sam's fighters appear to be cruising toward a future where just about all of its crewed fighters will become formations 
unto themselves. And that is a pretty big deal.